Hi class, this is Bernita. Um, I'm coming at you to give you an update on my project slash paper. So, um, I decided to do my project on Mary Halleck Foote's uh, California Mining Camp, which I discussed in my previous video. And um, so I'll just get to it. So I was doing my analysis and I was going through um, the, the um, excerpt from the magazine that she wrote about her life on a California mining camp, which was right here in the Bay Area in Santa Clara. And as I was going through and I was reading and reading, um, I noticed that there was a lot of stereotyping as well as an air. There was a arrogance about her and how she spoke and how she referred to different cultures and different races and their particular pra practices and traditions and things of that nature. So um, now mind you, she's a white, very well educated, um, cultured woman who's traveled all across the United States and possibly the world. Um, her husband is very successful. He was a mining engineer and they were extremely successful together. So um, when she was discussing the mining camp, there were many different things that she was that she discussed. And mind you, at this particular time, they, you know, United States had just emancipated all of the African Americans who were enslaved in slavery. And there was, I mean, a ton of racism. There was a lot of segregation. Um, all these different things were going on in the United States at that time. They weren't going on in California, but they were going on in other places within the United States. So um, here in California, there um, there was still racism going on. And especially, I could see a lot of the racism in, in regards to how she referred to the different cultures and ethnic groups and the lack of respect that she had for their particular traditions and cultural practices. Um and also, when she discussed their living quarters, it was segregated. And it was almost as if there was an upper, middle, and lower class. And um, there were three different culture or ethnic groups that um, were on, that she referred to, that were within this particular mining camp. And the upper class would be the white people who were there, on um in the mining camp and then the middle class she referred to them as chinamen but i'm assuming that she meant asians um and then among the lower class were the mexicans how that's how she referred she referred to them as mexicans so um so when i was going through reading this and doing my analysis it it brought to my attention the racism and the segregation that was going on within california at that time so therefore, um, that made me decide to write my paper on um, in re on how Mer how she viewed other cultures and other races and the difference in treatment amongst the other cultures and, and other races within the mining camp. So um, at first I started my paper doing just a day in the life of Mary Halleck Foote in California on a mining camp. And then I switched it to um, dealing with um, the racism and dealing with the segregation because it was really loud as I was reading and going through and analyzing. So um, that's an update for me on my particular project and paper. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comment box below um, otherwise I hope that everyone has a wonderful um, end of the semester we are here we are finally here amen so good luck with all your finals good luck with all your papers and best wishes to you in accomplishing all of your goals bye